Ben's we're here with Coach Matt Price. Coach, coming into spring practice, obviously the spring often favors the defense over the offense. And you're the man when it comes to defense. How are we looking defensively so far? I know there's a few coming back, a few new faces. Yeah, there, I mean, I think defense, I think for the first time in a couple of years, we feel like that's the side of the ball that's got the most returning experience. So that's been, that's been good to see, you know, Big Mike and uh, Austin Rain, Jacob Bunch. Peyton Webb, Tanner Boston, those guys that started a lot of games for us last year. And, uh, you know, and not only just the experience out of it, you know, their effort's been great. You know, their attitudes are they're flying around the football. And I think a lot of those things that Nick Bailey and Trey Torres have instilled in this program are going to carry on. Well, you know, and mentioning Trey, obviously, Trey's moving on, playing on the next level. You know, what does Trey's legacy mean to this defense? And how do you replace Trey Torres? It's hard to replace him, I think. I think but the best thing that he did for us, other than win us a lot of games, was kind of just show these kids on and how to be a great defender and an intimidating safety that he was. A lot of times, you know, he would make tackles, a lot of the ones that you see on the highlight films and stuff. So it's good for our DBs and stuff to see that they can be aggressive, but you can also be a skilled kid. And, and not only that, but, you know, Trey was always around the football and, you know, he's a great leader as far as emotionally. He got more excited a lot of times when other kids made plays. and. Not just him. And of course, Austin Reigns coming back, you know, he, you know, to be fair, he was touted as Nick ba the next yeah. Nick Bailey. He's had a heck of a career as a linebacker so far. Yeah, I think we, we talked about it the other day with Austin, is he's probably, from starting as a sophomore, he's already started 24 games up here and, and he not, not even played a single, one snap his senior year yet. So, I mean, the experience that he has, you just can't teach that. You can see it this spring. He's, He's so well just rounded and, and what's coming and how to coach these guys up, get them lined up. And he that'll be something that this year I look forward to having that guy out there that's really just a – he's basically a defense coordinator on the field for us. And one last thing, obviously the offense is probably going to be tweaked a little bit as you transition from Jeffers to whoever winds up being yeah. quarterback. Do you see there being more stability as the defensive scheme this year? Yeah, I do. I think, you know, defensively right now, we're not too much worried about scheme because a lot of our guys know it. And the offense is trying to figure out what's the best thing for this group that's coming back. And, and you know, we're able to focus on just effort and, you know, getting to the football and, and you know, technique stuff. And, you know, obviously springs that for both sides. But I think offensively, we got to try to figure out what's our identity. And, you know, a lot of times that trigger man is usually the guy that kind of well, you want to do what he's good at. So. You know, one thing I can say about our offense is we got a bunch of skilled kids out there that can run. And, and I think our line, even though they no, may not have experience, but they, you know, they, there's some big kids out there that got a lot of potential. All right, Coach, we appreciate your time. We'll see you up here next week. Thanks, Matt.